Hi everyone, welcome to a short explanation of something that I've noticed. Um, let's say there are some irregularities around us. Uh, first off, let's talk about our solar system. As you can see, the big planets are on the left side of the sun, while we are currently on the right. So, what does that mean to us, uh, since there is gravity, and uh, nothing comes from nothing? That means that all these planets are pulling us toward them, and nothing is pulling us away from the sun. So, uh, when we are making this turn, our orbit should, if you ask Newton, and uh, if you ask mathematics, our orbit should be a bit closer to the sun than usual. Uh, what does that mean for our planet? Well, it's the same as when you go closer to a fire. Uh, it will uh, send you more energy, or you will receive more dense energy, aka it will get hotter. Well, when is this going to end? We can push the timetable a bit forward, and the first thing which will partially balance out the whole system is Jupiter. So Jupiter is, uh, well, that's almost six years, but it will get behind us and it will start dragging us a bit into the right direction, away from the sun. So <clears throat> it's the closest planet of the big ones and it will have probably the biggest influence on us because it's closer than Neptune, very far away. Uh, can we do something about this? No. The only thing we can do is wait until things settle. Um, yeah. The second thing is our sun. Let's put the correct date. This is how our sun currently looks like. All these white spots are coronal mass ejections, uh, CMEs. What do they do? That's molten iron, which is flying around, increasing the effective surface of the sun, which is emitting energy around it and towards us. So, well, let me show you how the sun looks like when they are none of those. Let's go a few years back, let's say 19. This is how the sun usually looks like when it isn't in a so-called solar cycle. Um, the interesting thing is that uh, there's usually a solar cycle, then there is peace uh, when the sun calms down. Uh, but now we are in the 25th solar cycle, and there was almost no pause between the 24th and the 25th. You go a few years back. Let's say to 2017. And you'll see it was already, yeah, not that bright, but it was a bit brighter. Let's go one more year back. It's glowing hotter. Let's go one more year back. It's 
it looks like it looks today. So this thing is going on since a few years. I don't know how much we can go back. Didn't really research that, but let's say 2000. It's out of range. What does that say? Um, 2002. Is that okay? Out of range. Let's go 2010. Also out of range. Oh, well, here we have. 2011, still burning. <coughs> so the sun is skipping the pause. We have no time to cool down, it's sending massive amounts of energy since more than 10 years. We had one brief pause in 2019, and that's it. Can we do something about that? Well, no. We cannot tell the sun, please calm down, or something. We also don't know why it's doing that. Uh, in the past, it had bigger uh, periods of uh, less coronal mass ejections. Now it's constantly burning like crazy. So that means that also the radiation which is coming from the sun is increased. You see these spikes, that's X-rays, so basically a nuclear radiation, which can cause yeah, many problems for your health and so on. So um, you are suggested to <coughs> wear sunglasses, sunscreen, you know the <laughs> you know the song, wear your sunscreen. Well, I don't know uh, about those creams and what's inside, but you should stay out of the sun or you'll get burned very easily, especially when these spikes are above the X level. So X.1 and so on. This is a really nice app. You should download it on your mobile phone. So what did we talk about? The distance from the sun to the earth which is causing more energy to come in. And the intensity of the sun, which is also currently causing more energy to come in. Both of those facts could change the climate. Do we have a climate change? Well, we have some weird things going on. And Let's bring it to the actual time. Yeah. We have some weird things going on, which we can't do anything about in the cosmic scale, but we can do something on Earth. We can put a shield around the Earth. We can prevent all that energy uh, from heating up the Earth. How can we do that? Well, we don't have any... Uh, energy shields, but we can put up some physical shields in the form of white clouds. Uh, I will put this link in the video description. I suggest you go and read it yourself. I won't go through everything, but this is the official page of Deutsches Zentrum für Luft und Raumfahrt. Uh, it's the German NASA basically. And they had a study two years ago, well, well one and a half year ago, uh, in which they state that airplane exhaust are causing clouds. They make clouds. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. But that was a conspiracy theory. Now it's not anymore. So you have it here. It's official. Planes are making clouds. It's all good. Well, if you consider this, and if you consider this, uh, there shouldn't be anything wrong with this. 
but uh, if jet fuel was only hydrocarbons it would produce mostly water vapor but jet fuels have additives many of them inside some are sulfur based and many of those additives have uh, ingredients which have a negative impact on your health uh, like unburned hydrocarbons sulfur compounds you know everything that goes up uh, will eventually come down so you will breathe it in eventually you are not living in a room which has filters and you're not going outside of the room you will breathe some of this stuff uh, as you can see nitrogen oxides <coughs> many countries have indicated that there are really uh, increased uh, levels of nitrogen oxide they blame cars for it but let's say that uh, the fuel which are the jet, uh, with the jets are burning is a larger quantity than we can burn with our cars so uh, if this is a shield it has it's causing a collateral damage which is uh, basically an impact on our health uh, the thing is that uh, yeah we don't have any other way to repel all this heat coming in uh, is this co is this a coincidence or is this a plan i don't know i don't have any proof or anything i just I'm just able to notice that, uh, yeah, the galactic events around us are not very positive for our lives on this planet. Uh, it could melt the poles. The mass of the water could uh, frack with the continental masses. We could have uh, earthquakes. We have uh, floods and so on so yeah what can we do uh, we can go ask somebody what's really going on uh, and we can keep calm till Jupiter gets in the right place so it places behind us somewhere so and we are not alone anymore it's about three to four years there is star spelling out you know the meme keep calm well uh, there you go what do you think about this i find it very interesting um, i hope you did too and feel welcome to share like subscribe you know the standard and thanks for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye